Take a moment. Can you smell that? No. Well, you will if you go over to UT. I smell your lifesaver. <laughs> no, I just had a lifesaver. <laughs> <laughs> smells better than Ronnie. Top. Yes, it does. That's the corpse flower. It's officially in bloom over at the <laughs> University of Tennessee. We've been showing this live webcam over the last week or so, ever since the ecology department noticed signs that it was just about to bloom. And then this morning, that maroon color, that big bloom, started to open up. You know, the university's had the corpse flower in its care since 1999, and this is the very first time it has bloomed. The beautiful yet odorous flower will stay <laughs> open for just 24 to 36 hours, so not long before it once again starts to close. Now, during that time, visitors are getting in line to get their chance to, well, take a sniff. It smells really gross, like a scent of a scratch and sniff sticker that I have. I was, I was surprised. It is a, a strong smell, and they say it's going to get a little bit stronger throughout the day, and so, yeah, it was surprisingly <laughs> bad. <laughs> It's just very unique. Um, the smell it gives, the pollinators it attracts, uh, it tends to start to bloom, you know, before dawn. Uh, and then the color, that maroon color, it's just several different, you know, factors that just kind of make it this unique and, and interesting. In the, and then, of course, it's not that common, especially in, around here. Uh, so, you know, people want to come and, and find out, I think, if it, in fact, does carry that smell. All right, the pollinators are flies, so you know right. right away the smell is just not good. After getting their chance with Rodney Top, visitors have been writing down what they think the flower <laughs> smells like. So people have said everything from trash to roadkill and Brussels sprouts while they're cooking. So that's without bacon? Not pleasant. Without, without bacon, bacon. Okay. Maybe not even olive oil, no, just plain old Brussels sprouts. <laughs> we should note there's still time to go check out Rodney Top for yourself. You can find it. In a corner of room 402 in the Hessler Biology Building, of course, Circle Drive, this is just off Circle Drive on UT's campus. Uh, the building will stay open until midnight tonight, so you can catch a glimpse and a smell. Uh, it will be <laughs> another three to seven years, by the way, until it blooms again. So this is your one-time chance here for a while. You won't forget that oh, no, smell. No, you won't. No, you won't.